This is Robert Kraft, and I'm your host on SNN Network. And joining me today is Dr. Michael Levy. He is the CEO of Lightwave Logic. It's a publicly traded company. The symbol is LWLG on the OTCQB. Dr. Levy, welcome to this SNN Live. Good to see you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, how are you holding up? Everybody okay? Yes, everybody's uh, safe. I'm working from home just like everybody else these days. That is for sure. That is for sure. So let's start with a quick overview and history of the company, and then we'll go from there. So the company, uh, actually, the original founders spun out from DuPont as a chemistry company about uh, 12, 14 years ago before my time and developed uh, polymer materials that are electrical and optical. We call them EO, but these are special materials that are able to switch light really quickly. And over the last decade, we've actually transformed the chemistry of the materials into fast optical switching devices. Got it. All right. So what would you say makes the company unique and different compared to your peers out there? So the interesting thing about these polymers is they can switch light really, really fast. So fast that it can actually help the internet. The internet is, uh, as you as you already know, sends a lot of traffic backwards and forwards on fiber optic cables. The faster you send those signals, the more traffic we can carry. And everybody's working from home now, so now we, we understand about traffic problems, traffic jams, things being slower. And so the technology we have actually allows the internet not only to go faster, but we save power too, which is a big issue for a lot of the customer base today. Mm -hmm. Just to maybe give a, a sense of the competitive landscape, I mean, who are some of the elephants in your industry that are also doing similar things? So we come under the category of optical components, mm -hmm. and these are devices that actually send and switch light in the fiber optic cables. And so companies that to, to utilize these cables are the big telephone companies, you know, the Verizons, the AT&Ts, even some of the big data center companies like you would expect from the Facebooks or the Googles and the Microsofts and even Amazons. These are the folks that really need to deal with a lot of the traffic. And so they implement a lot of optical interconnects. Optical interconnects is another name for fiber optics. And they need to be able to deal with the traffic going in and out of their facilities. Absolutely. So then what would you say are the company's competitive advantages? And also, what is the size of some of these target markets you're going after? So the company's competitive advantage is that we have an optical modulator that goes faster than pretty much anything else out there. It's actually twice as fast and probably twice as low power than anything that's available today. So we're developing this technology into faster switching. And the markets we're going for, I mean, I've seen market projections in the 50 to $80 billion for optical components that goes into these types of fiber optic networks. And you can imagine, this is not just the US. US is obviously interconnected all across the country, but it's all interconnected all across the world too. Gotcha. And what's your background? I mean, how, how'd you come into all this? I'm a technologist. Um, I've done a lot of corporate research um, in industry over the years. First started at Bell Labs, worked at Motorola Corporate Research, Intel Corporate Research. And so I, I can see the way that these networks have developed over the last 20 and 30 years. And one of the issues that we're seeing is we're getting traffic jams. In fact, if you just look at some of the latest information, I think it's Netflix and even YouTube are throttling down uh, streaming to Europe. So what does that mean? That means that they're actually slowing down the traffic that's going in and out of Europe because they can't manage the traffic. And so really what they need is faster and low power optical solutions and we have these types of technologies, and this is what we're developing. So what would you say then, as a, as a quick follow-up, as some of the company's uh, catalysts or inflection points? It seems like now is kind of one of those time periods where you're seeing a lot of traffic jams. A lot of people are working from home. They're using Wi-Fi, different types of, of Internet out there. So, I mean, what is it that will take Lightwave Logistic over the hump to service this industry? So we're very focused on producing prototypes and we're very focused on providing 
you know, our potential customers, because we're, we're a pre-revenue company, the technology they need to go faster. What is interesting today is this, this coronavirus is obviously a very bad thing, but it's forced everybody to work from home. And as you know, you, you try and get onto a bridge and make a telephone call at the, on the hour and you can't get on, you get busy signals. That's basically because the internet structure, the internet infrastructure cannot take some of the, the traffic that goes on the hour. And we need to resolve that. One of the ways to resolve that is faster devices, lower power, and uh, a lot of folks are realizing this. But the difference today is our investor base hasn't really seen these problems. But now when you see people working from home, a lot more of the average person sees these issues more than they have before. Gotcha. So then from what you can tell us, what are the one to two things investors should look out for from the company in Q2 and beyond? So we are a development stage company. We're developing this technology and we've had a number of press releases over the last two or three years showing the progress of our polymer materials in terms of performance, in terms of high speed and low power. And so we will be continuing to do that. And so as, a, as an investor looking at this company from the outside, we, we are very focused on improving what we're doing. And uh, I, I guess that people will be able to see our improvements over the next year. And Dr. Levy, where can my audience go and find everything they need to know about LightWave Logic? Well, obviously, we can come to our website. There's a lot of technology, white papers on our website, and that's at uh, lightwavelogic.com. Perfect. Well, with that, Dr. Levy, continue to please stay safe, and thank you again for taking the time to do this with me. Thank you very much. Enjoyed it.